I'm here by the will of Almighty to give up on all my long-running disputes, our duty-free with the Kenya Airport Authority, and uh, let all glory and praise be to Those are the words of business mogul turned part-time preacher who now says that he is ready to withdraw the ongoing case between him and the Kenya Airport Authority. Padney has been demanding 42 million compensation from the airport's authority for what he called breach of contract. As a responsible citizen of this country and as a servant of God through Hope International Ministry, I do not wish to fight the authority which has been put in place by the Almighty God. Wow Duty Free Company Limited and Diplomatic Duty Free Company Limited have agreed to withdraw the multitude of cases pending in various courts against Kenya Airports Authority and or the government of the Republic of Kenya. D. Wow Duty Free Company Limited and Diplomatic Duty Free Company Limited have surrendered all the premises which they had occupied for the last 25 years. Kamlesh has asked the government to forget the past by forgiving and recognizing those who repent and only punish those who do not repent, adding that when he surrendered now like a Regency Hotel, he was setting a precedent for other people under investigations to follow suit and surrender. Although I can fight court cases but have opted out for peace, I and my family also need to have peace as my role as a servant of God teaches me that blessed are the peacemakers. Last month, the Kenya Airports Authority demolished duty-free shops and lounges belonging to the businessman at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Wilson Airport and the Moy International Airport in Mombasa, which occupies 70% of the available space for shops, a situation that led to Patney taking Kenya Airport's authority to court for compensation, arguing that KAA had not given him any notice to vacate the premises. Free Company Limited and Diplomatic Duty Free Company have both agreed and undertaken never to claim and or demand any compensation now or in future regarding the repossession of the shops and passenger roads which have been carried out by Kenya Airports Authority. I want to live a peaceful life without being harassed in the name always coming on and on and on from the past in the name of golden bug stigma and I want to live peacefully and want the Jubilee government to give me peace for the restitutions I've done and I'm doing. I'm Later, Patney and KA got an agreement that saw the High Court order that the two parties be given a period of one week to settle their dispute out of court over duty-free shops at the airport. Kenya Airports Authority, which demolished the duty-free shops at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, has been negotiating for an out-of-court settlement for the case filed by Patney. But even as Patney opts for the forgive and forget way, the question many are asking is, is this the correct way to find justice? The out-of-court settlement was also to apply to another suit filed by the World Duty-Free Company against KAA regarding the lease of duty shops at the airports. The judge had directed the parties to appear before a commercial court on September 3rd for further directions. Michael Njenga, Citizen TV, Nairobi.